Hello everyone, welcome back. Since my last video about Pika Labs, there have been numerous new updates, including features like motion, frame per second, camera movement, and animate command. These features are so important and helpful in creating AI videos. They have also made some interface changes. In today's video, I will guide you through how to make the most of this exciting new addition. So be sure to stick till the end. Let's dive in. Pika now allows you to do a private generation. It means you don't have to use any kind of generate channel. You can directly create videos in direct message. To do that, just go ahead, click on this Pika bot, click on this profile, and you'll see this send message option, right? You can go ahead and type any kind of message. Let's say hi. Then once you're done this, you can go to your direct message section. And over here on the top, you'll see that, you know, Pika bot is available. And over here, you can type any kind of command like animate, create, and you can start creating videos. So before we start creating any videos, let's read about some important parameters and how to use them so that it will be helpful for us. We have some parameter named motion, which help us to control the motion inside our videos. Then we have frame per second, which is by default set to 24 now. Now you can use this to smoothen the transition between the motions. Then we have guidance scale, which is 12. As it says, the higher the value, it will listen to prompt more and it will not deviate from that. Then we have aspect ratio, which is common and we have been using that previously as well. Then we have seed. Seed is to keep the video consistent. But remember, this works only when your positive prompt as well as negative prompt is fixed. You can only change additional parameter in that. Okay. And prompt structure should be something like that create prompt or slash animate you can use description of the video you want to create plus optional parameter so you can give positive parameter negative parameter then this is what i have been following first i give aspect ratio then i provide motion then i provide guidance skill then i provide frame per second then i add camera movement and in the last i add seed value so let's get started and first thing i want to show you how animate command works which has been added recently so what we have to do is just go ahead and click on animate and over here you can provide image which is mandatory. So let's go ahead and select that. So I'm selecting this beautiful beach and over here uh, you have prompt as well which you can or cannot provide it is an optional. So let's go ahead and just animate without any prompt. Let's have a look at the result here. Uh, you could see that you know this has animated this video based on the analysis like you know it was C so it has Created the waves and so on. And you can also see that, you know, I don't have a Pika Labs watermark because I'm a part of super collaborator team. So I work on non watermark uh, area. So there has been new feature added uh, that is called Remix, which allow you to change the prompt without adding images. You know? So let's go ahead and click on this. And here you can provide your new prompt. So you don't have to add images again and again. This is a really good feature, you know. So this time I'm just going with camera zoom in. Okay, let's see how it works. And remember that since I'm not adding motion parameter, the motion will go one as a default. Okay, and frame per second will also go as 24. So let's have a look at the results. We have it over here. So let's click on this. You could see that you know how well this zoom in feature works. And since we had this default value of motion as one and frame per second as 24. So the transition and the zoom in feature was also really nice, right? So once you start increasing or decreasing the value of motion, right? It will affect the output. So let's see how it works. So what we will be doing is we will go ahead and click on this remix and we will add iPhone motion and we will add value 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4 and we will see how it impacts the results, right? So let's go ahead and see. So over here we have with 0. Let's go ahead and replay this video so you could see this is little slower than a previous one for two it works little faster for three it is even faster compared to two and for four you could see that you know waves and the zoom in feature is really fast so this is how you can change the motion value and impact your output and you can always choose based on your composition right so there is another feature which has been added right now is to delete uh, if you don't like any kind of uh, videos so what you can do is you can click over here and you can type capital yes and it will delete that video right so let's take the same video and start composing different uh, way so what we'll be doing is here we have a uh, motion four and hyphen camera zoom in right so what we are going to do is uh, this time we will set the motion as four but instead of frame per second default we will set it as 16 
and we can go with camera zoom out. So let's see how it works. Let's click on submit and let's wait. So what you can do is you can also parallelly run a different command. So as I'm over here, I'm going with, you know, uh, let's go with pan up, right? And click on submit. So we will have another video. Let's click on over here and go with the same command and pan right, right? So let's click on this and wait. Let's have a look at the result here. So this was uh, motion four frame per second 16 and zoom out. So you could see that, you know, uh, the camera is zooming out from the scene. That's really great. Over here, we are using pan up. So you could see that, you know, camera is slowly moving up. And over here, we have used pan right. So you could see that, you know, camera is panning to the right side. So this is how you can actually add or modify your prompt and create different kind of videos from the same images, right? So we have also two non-conflicting direction. That is, you know, you can actually go pan up left pan down right or pan up right or pan down left you know you can go with that or you can always go with clockwise or counterclockwise or anti-clockwise or you can use this you know abbreviation cw or ccw or acw right so let's see how it works if we go with camera pan upright and how it works so we'll go ahead and click on this remix and over here uh, this time i'm just going with frame motion 2 because it was really high and we can set it to 24 and change this value to camera pan upright right so let's copy this because i'm gonna try a multiple variation of this so that's fine right so we have this four combination and we can also go with camera rotate that is rotate uh, clockwise cw and uh, so this time i've just used uh, you know uh, same parameter and here we can go ahead and change this camera rotate acw or CCW, you can use any one of that. Let's have a look at the result here. Uh, you could see that, you know, it is going on the right top corner. That is our pan upright. Uh, same goes for pan up left. That's really great. Then we have pan down right. Then we have pan down left. So works really great, right? Then uh, we have something called uh, rotate. This is really great. If you have, uh, you need to get this kind of, uh, you know, rotation in your video. That's really great. Uh, and here we have the clockwise so that's all guys uh, you know you can use all these additional parameters to create some amazing videos and if you really want to go ahead and read everything in details how to use it you can go to this getting started channel and over here you have uh, all the entire details you know uh, image to video bot buttons generation optional parameters and so on so you can go ahead read all of them and start creating videos okay and if you like this video hit the like and subscribe button share with your friends and i'll see you in the next video thank you